Well, Baylor makes it official, announcing LSU defensive coordinator Dave Aranda as their new head coach, replacing Matt Rule nearly nine days after Matt Rule left Baylor for the NFL. Fox 44 Sports Director Matt Roberts sees in the studio with the latest on Baylor's new coach. Hey, Matt. Hey, Adam. Yeah, it's been a nerve wracking nine days for a lot of Baylor fans, but this was a huge decision for Mac Rhodes, so he wanted to be thorough in his search. And he got a guy, a highly coveted one at that, in Dave Aranda, who has nearly 20 years of experience as a defensive assistant. He's a California native. He spent the last four seasons at LSU, obviously helping them to a national title on Monday. And now that team is crumbling before our eyes. Prior to that, he was a defensive coordinator at Wisconsin, Utah State, and Hawaii. Aranda began his career at Texas Tech under Mike Leach as a graduate assistant. We earned a master's degree before going to Houston to coach linebackers for Art Bryles from 2003 to 2004. So he spent significant time in the Lone Star State in his career, and he's worked with some good coaches throughout that time as well. In a release from Baylor tonight, Aranda said, quote, From the outside looking in, I was so impressed watching Baylor play. Seeing the unity of the team and the togetherness of their play really illustrated a strong culture. It goes on, after meeting Mac Rhodes, talking with President Livingstone and seeing Baylor's alignment from the top down, you can see why they have been so successful. I'm ready to touch down in Waco and get to work. Brian Holland from our sister station in Baton Rouge said it was only a matter of time before somebody grabbed Aranda. He's not like Matt Rule in a lot of ways, but I think that he's one of those guys that checks in at 5 a.m. And, and is the last one to check out. So he's one of the hardest working coordinators that I've ever heard of, especially on the defensive side of the ball. We'll have more from Brian coming up later in the show. A formal press conference likely to be on Monday. Time and location have not yet been confirmed.